Hello, what is going on? It's Keith here and I want to show you guys something. So, uh, Rachel, this is for you. Let me find where I am here. Um, essentially, I am creating a wizard. Now, the wizard that I'm creating is a wizard that is going to basically, so there's going to be two wizards. One's going to start with ChatGPT. The other one's going to start with Claude. So let's start with ChatGPT. And you can see here, I'm going to zoom in. Essentially, Claude's going to write the initial prompt, okay? Then we're going to have a second run on the wizard that takes it to ChatGPT and says, hey, what do you think about this? Then it's going to go to Claude and say, hey, what do you think about this? Then it's going to go back to ChatGPT and say, what do you think about this? Then back to Claude to say, what do you think about this? And then it's going to give ChatGPT the final review because Claude started it, ChatGPT will finish it. Then we're going to build another one where ChatGPT writes the initial prompt and we're going to give Claude the final review. Okay. So essentially, if you're following, I hope I'm explaining it. Uh, we're going to basically tell this wizard. The wizard is, if you're not familiar, it's a bunch of prompts strung together and you can use different models for each run. So you can say, do this, do that, do this, do that, and take the output from the previous runs and bring it along with you to create anything you want. So essentially at the end, when you build a wizard, you write one thing in the box and hit the button and then it runs and it does it all. It's pretty amazing. We've been building a lot of stuff. Um, we haven't really talked about it too much, but it's, it's actually ridiculously uh, impressive. Almost too much. It's almost, it's, you know, it takes the whole tool to another level. Let's just say that. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's start up here uh the first claude's claude writes initial prompt so based on your task of writing an amazing blog post i'll create an initial prompt for this purpose please provide the specific specific topic uh or focus of the blog post now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down here and i'm just going to tell claude i'm going to let's let's uh, zoom out let's go to 100 percent. i'm going to tell claude to give me custom variables please rewrite these and provide custom variables instead of focusing on a blog post. The end user who's going to be instructing the wizard to create a prompt is only going to, okay, I got sidetracked, I apologize. Somebody was sending me something weird. Um, not weird, but end user who's gonna be instructing the wizard to create a prompt. Okay, so, uh, so the end user is going to be instructing the wizard to create a prompt uh, to, to achieve a specific task, but that task needs to be allowed to be written in, in a variable. And then the follow-up prompts will take the output from the previous prompts and continue like you did in this previous example. Let's see if it understands my mumbo jumbo. Okay, cool. So now if we come in here, it's going to say, and again, you can do this for anything. This wizard can do a lot of different things. Okay. This wizard can do a lot of different things is what I was saying. Okay. So Claude writes initial prompt. I'll create an initial prompt for your task. Please provide a brief description of what you want to accomplish. Okay. Here's an initial prompt for the task of description. Okay, good. So it actually didn't give us the, uh, but we'll put that there. Okay. So let's go here and grab this. And we're going to go over and create a wizard. So I'm going to go new wizard. I'm going to call this wizard um, prompt creator. And we're going to say, which one was this? Uh, Claude writes the initial prompt. So we'll call this one Claude. Prompt creator Claude. And it's going to be 3.5 Sonics. That's the best model so far. Prompt creator. And then we're just going to give it a price. I don't know. Nine bucks. Whatever. And no, one's, no, it's not charging anybody at this point. Okay. Now, when we click inside of here, now we can go ahead and add prompts. So the first prompt is going to be this prompt one, which is going to be um, write prompt, right? So this is going to write the prompt. So we'll call this write prompt. We'll just say write prompt, and then we'll say model. Um, since Claude is going to write this prompt, we're going to say 
Claude Sonnet is the first run here. And then we're going to go ahead and put this in here. So Claude writes initial prompt, take that out. All right. I'll... All right. So see now Claude's not really writing this as a command. Um, it's more, it wrote it sort of in this conversational way. Um, so I could have played around and went back and forth with chat GPT to even make this better. Right. Um, but let's just, let's just for the purpose of this, we'll say, um, I'll say, create an initial prompt for my task. Please provide a description of the uh, task you want to create. So this is like, I could write a better prompt than this right out of the gate. So I'm going to go act as a world-class prompt engineer and write a highly effective prompt that I can use in a large language model with custom variables that I can enter in whatever I want and the prompt will create custom output based on those variables. I want you to create this prompt based off my task that I want to be able to achieve and that task is So, I mean, I'm just doing that on the fly, but that should work well. And then I'm going to go here. So we're going to go task. And that's it. Okay. By putting the curly brackets, now the system turned that away from the red. So now we can go forward. Okay. So we're going to go forward. We can put a tool tip in here to let the person that's entering this know what to write, but I'm just going to keep moving. So there's our first prompt is write the prompt. Okay. Now here's an initial prompt for the task of, Please review and suggest improvements to make more effective and tailored uh, to achieving the specific goal. Okay. All right, cool. So now we're going to go in here. We're going to go add prompt. We're going to go um, chat GPT revise. Then we're going to choose uh, model 4.0. is probably the one you're going to use, but you can do whatever you want. We're going to paste this in here. It's going to say, here's an initial prompt for the task of, and then the one by the variables is going to give it the, the first run. So we're going to go task, use the same exact variable. So it just keeps pulling. You only have to enter it once in the beginning and it will, it will pass through for you. And then the output from the first prompt is going to go here. So here's an initial prompt for the task of, and then here's the prompt, please review and suggest improvements to make it more effective and tailored to achieving this specific goal. Okay, then we're gonna go here and it's going to, it should give you, oh, it should pop the one in there. If I go back and then hit next again, there you go. You can write it in, but it automatically pops in for you. Okay, let's go to the next, let's hit submit. So now that's good. We get the first chat, chat GBT revise. Now we're gonna say, sorry, that was my coffee cup. We're gonna say, we're refining a prompt for, okay, so let's go over here and add another step in the workflow. We're going to say Claude refine, Claude refine, and we're going to say Claude 3.5. Boom. Okay. Paste this in. And again, we're just going to check this. Here's an initial prompt for the task of task. And then boom, please review. So let's go back here though, because I think, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't copy this. I have to copy this. Copy. Okay. I was using the old what we had. Okay, so we're refining a prompt for. Here's the current version. Please analyze and further improve this prompt, focusing on elements that will lead to successfully accomplishing the task. Perfect. And again, there's a lot of ways to do this, but we just want to do it this one way. Well, you know, you can do it your way. Share with us the ways you're doing it. We really want to know. I'm very interested. Um, all right, let's take this now. This is the chat GBT refines. So we go, uh, we we're using, we should probably use the same word, right? So let's say refine. We'll say refine, refine, refine. Okay. Now let's do chat GBT refine. So we're going to go back to four O and then we're going to plug this in here and say, this is the third iteration of our prompt for task. And it's going to give the third output. Please review and refine it further, considering aspects like clarity, efficiency, and optimal results. Okay, boom. Perfect. Keep going. And we're going to do our cloud refine. So we're going to say everything it says here. 
quad refine quad refine 3.5 sonnet next paste we're in the fourth round of refining our prompt four and we're gonna give it the task I get all excited to see how this goes. Here's the latest version. Please make any necessary adjustments to effectively guide the AI in accomplishing this task. Boom. Submit. You could even put things like don't make any changes unless you really, you know, unless you think it's going to be something that's really going to help. All right. Here's the last one, right? So this is going to be the last one. This is going to be chat GBT refines. So let's go add prompt chat GPT refine. And you could, you know, if you wanted to, you can go in here and put in like each number every time it's doing it. So you kind of can see it visually, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, please do comprehensive assessment for any last. Okay. Cool. Boom. So you could go write a prompt and then chat GBT refine one, right? And then you could do, you know, Claude refine one, because that's really like it, it's refining it for the first time. Then chat GBT refine two. Just so this actually is helpful just to give you an idea, like from even me seeing this, how many times? So ChatGPT refine two, Claude refine two, and then ChatGPT refine three. Okay. You might say, well, I want to let Chat GBT, I want to let the one that started fi finalize, right? Well, that's fine. You could just do another one and do Claude you know, refine three and finish it off that way. But now this, this prompt, this wizard is put together. And obviously in the future, we want to be able to include API requests, pushing out to here, going there, doing different things in between here, um, you know, scanning the web, stuff like that, uh, uploading a PDF, uploading a, 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 an image at a certain, you know, uh, a certain place, you know, doing it all in one shot and then being able to run it. But let's go ahead and run this. So, I'm going to head over to my white label. I'm going to go to wizards and then I'm going to go to prompt creator and we're going to go Claude. We're going to hit run. And then guess what? The only thing we have to put in here is our task, right? So what do we want this prompt to do, right? I want this prompt to um, write high converting subject lines for my emails. You know, I mean, I guess that that, that works. Um, or let's say um, write a 60 second commercial for a small business that is story based using the Ida formula and problem agitate solution also known as pass right so there you go we're gonna say i, I want to basically get a prompt here that i can use to write a, a 60 second commercial uh and then i'm gonna hit run wizard All right now this is gonna basically run it's gonna go in the background you can see it says wizard is running in the background up here not spelled right but um and then under profile and wizards you can already see i've already run 30 of these things um it's gonna run it's gonna show up here when it's done Right, so I'm gonna pause this for a second. It's literally gonna take, well, I'll show you. It's 5.35 here in 25 seconds. So I'm gonna pause this. So oh, done, 5.36 and 20 seconds. So that was less than one minute. That thing ran and look what it gave us. So here's a comprehensive refined version of your prompt incorporating all the suggested adjustments and enhancing the focus on character development, visual storytelling. So here's the prompt. Right. So <laughs> um, I'm going to be interested to run this prompt. If you want to run it, here it is. Go ahead and just take a screenshot of this. Let me back out so you can take a whole screenshot of this thing right there. There you go. Run this. Try it. See how it works. So the wizards, any like literally you can build anything you want. I don't even know. The sky's the limit. I'm looking to see what you guys are going to create with these. So let's go in there and build some really cool stuff. Share it on here. Let's get this uh, conversation started. Um, by the way, I haven't even made a video about it, but there's projects. So real quick, let me show you. Let's say I love this and I want to use this. I'm going to go ahead like this and I'm going to go push this to a project. I'm going to go add to file, choose the project I want to add it to. Let's say prompt ROI and then choose the file. Let's say blog and hit add. 
Now that output just got added to my project. If I go over to uh, up here at the top to uh, projects, you're going to see here's my projects. And inside my projects, I have my files and I can add, add, add as many files as I want. But this is how we're now allowing you to organize all your output and allow your users of your white label to keep all their output here and eventually be able to push it out of here to wherever they need to push it from there. OK, so you can see if I go in here and click on the file, I have this nice editor. I can put links and photos and videos and everything in here and get it ready for production. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you use these wizards. Uh, I hope you find them as fun as I do. And I'll see you soon.